Ranger. fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hayo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Hayo Silver, away! With his faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early west. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. The Lone Ranger rides again. There you are, my friends, the perfect match. One, a genuine $20 bill. The other, a genuine Dumont original. I defy either of you to tell me which is which. Well, you can't, Chief. It's too good a job. Uncle Sam himself couldn't tell the difference. It's taken me 10 years to perfect the process. And now I believe we have the perfect counterfeit bill. <laughs> we can't miss with this one. We'll all go into town. And Bert will have the honor of passing the first of these bills. Al, you go saddle up the horses. We must handle this operation with great care, Bert. I don't want any slip-ups. There won't be. Not with you handling the thing. Think of it, my friend. All the money you can ever use. The future looks very exciting. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Dumas. But where you're going, the future won't be very exciting. At last reports, the living conditions in our federal prisons are not exactly to your taste. Who are you? The name is Collins, Jim Collins. I'm employed by the United States government. Treasury man? That's right, a treasury man assigned to track down a ring of counterfeiters. I've been on your trail a long time, Dumont, and at times it's been tough. But now I'm at the end of it. Plainly, the game is up, Mr. Collins. The government is too smart for me. The government's always too smart for your kind, Dumont. I find it hard to believe that I've finally been caught. Where did I make my mistake? You have certain eccentricities which makes your trail easy to follow. What, for instance? Well, the way you dress, and the way you talk, and that uh, fancy perfume that you use. That, my friend, is cologne. A very fine cologne. Well, in any case, it's the sort of thing that people remember. In short, it's my superior taste that led to my downfall or your vanity, whichever one chooses to call it. Now turn around and put your hands behind your back. You two! Uh, one question, if you don't mind. Now go ahead. Did you accomplish this task alone? Why do you ask? Well, it's just that I hate to think that I'd been outwitted by some local sheriff. Yes, I did it alone. Well, that at least is some consolation. To think that I have been caught by the federal government. So oh, the government was too smart for me, was it? I thought you'd never get here, Al. Federal man, huh? Yeah, said he'd been on our trail a long time. That's bad. That'll ruin all our plans. I wonder if it will. With the federal government in our trail, Chief, we're in real trouble. They're not on our trail at the present moment. Well, they will be as soon as this fellow fails to report. Sure, they'll send out someone else. Well, what if Jim Collins continues to report? You, you mean we'll do it for him? Why not? We have all his papers and identification. It should be a very simple matter for me to duplicate his signature. Say, that's not a bad idea. We could throw him off the track for quite a while that way. Yeah, that'll give us all the time that we need to pass off this new money. We can do better than that. We can throw the government off our trail permanently. Well, how, Chief? Suppose Dumont is reported dead, and the report is signed by Jim Collins himself. I get it. You'll change places with him. Exactly. And when the body of Jim Collins is found and identified as mine, I will be playing the part of Jim Collins. But that means that you'll have to work with the local authorities. Why not? They've never seen me before. Nor Jim Collins either. There's just one thing wrong, Chief. What's that? Well, your clothes. You don't exactly look like a government agent. <laughs> well, that's very easily remedied. Well, that patch should cover the bullet hole well enough, I think. 
Gentlemen, do I look sufficiently official now? Yeah, your pass. Good. Al, give me your gun. What for? Never mind, give it to me. <laughs> Gentlemen, when a body is found with a bullet hole in the back, there must be a corresponding one in the coat. <laughs> Here, put this coat on the body. You sure think of everything, Chief. Yes. It's the little things that count, my friend. Now let's all go into town. I'm very anxious to meet the local sheriff. We're not going to leave the body here. Of course not, you fool. We're going to leave it somewhere on the trail. Tyler, looks like we'd better find a place to camp. It might rain tonight. Uh, this good spot here. What's that? It looks like body. He's dead. Shot in the back. This man didn't have a chance. Him been dead long? I think so, Tom. There are some papers that may identify him. What them say? I've heard of this man before. His name is Pierre Dumont. He's been mixed up in a lot of illegal activities. Mainly counterfeit. Him not look like bad man. No, but did you notice his clothes? Him very fancy dresser. That's right. And it fits with all I've heard about Dumont. He was something of a dandy. Him use perfume. Now that's cologne, Tonto. A man's perfume. Him use too much, me not like it. I agree with you. He did use entirely too much. I wonder what a man like him would be doing out in a lonely spot like this. Uh, him not alone, Kimasabe. Other men here too. Yes. There were at least two men here. There are no signs of a struggle. Body dragged from out there, down trail. Apparently he was killed in some other place and brought here. We follow sign, see what murder done? No, Tonto. We'd better take him in town and report this to the sheriff. I'm mighty glad the government finally sent someone out to deal with these counterfeiters, Mr. Collins. They've been getting away with their game long enough. But they're not going to get away with it any longer. We must work closely together, Sheriff. I want you to report to me anything you learn about these criminals or their actions. You can count on my full cooperation. Yes, I think we'll make an excellent team, Sheriff. Are you uh, staying in town? Yes, I'm registered at the hotel. But for obvious reasons, I don't want my identity disclosed. Whatever you say. I think that'd be best. Well, I'll keep in touch with you. I'll keep in touch with you, too. You can count on that. Hello, Sheriff. What is this, a holdup? Hardly that. If we were, we wouldn't have come in here with our guns holstered. Well, I reckon that makes sense. What do you want here, then? Tonto and I have some information that might interest you. I must say, this is the first time I've ever seen two men like you offering information to a sheriff. Tell me, is that mask some quaint Western custom I was yet to hear about? I wear this mask for a good reason. It helps me in my work. And what might that be, if I'm not being too inquisitive? I'm in the same business as the sheriff, bringing in criminals. Well, <laughs> that makes a whole carload of you. Mr. Collins here was sent out by the federal government to uh, round up a gang of counterfeiters. <laughs> Is that so? Is that the way you keep a confident sheriff? Yes. Uh, huh? I thought I made it clear to you I did not want my identity disclosed. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, my, I, I forgot. I have good reason for wanting to remain anonymous. If you want to continue working with me, you must respect my wishes. Well, I'm sure the sheriff meant no harm, Mr. Collins. You can rest assured that Tano and I would never say or do anything that might help these counterfeiters. We help you catch them if we can. That's very kind of you, I'm sure. But we're dealing with a band of ruthless criminals. Catching them is no job for amateurs. Is the leader of this gang Pierre Dumont? Yes. Yes, how did you know that? I think perhaps you'll be interested in these. Uh, what are they, mister? Some papers we took off a dead man a short while ago. They identify him as Dumat. Unless I'm mistaken, I think he's the man Mr. Collins is looking for. Yes, he most certainly is. And if this man is Dumont, I owe you gentlemen an abject apology. Have you ever seen Dumont before? Yes, many times. Good. Then you can make the identification certain. I most certainly can. I've been after that man for a long time. 
A brilliant mind, I am compelled to say. Uh, where did you find the body? Up in the hills at the end of a trail. He was shot in the back. Ambushed? Well, that's hard to say. It looked as though the body had been dragged there from some other spot. He must have quarreled with some of the other members of his gang. Well, let's all ride up there and have a look around. There's no hurry about that, Sheriff. The important thing now is the proper identification of the body. Well, maybe you're right. Uh, where's the body now? Oh, at the corners. Let's all go over and have a look. Tano and I have some business to attend to. But we'll be back. Well, I see you later. <laughs> if this man is Dumont, the government owes you a great vote of thanks. And you've saved me a lot of time and trouble personally. I hope it's your man, Mr. Collins. Yes. I'm almost sure that it is. Can we go back where we find body? Yes, Tano. I'd like to look around and find out where that man was killed. We find. Well, that is Dumont. Are you sure? No question whatever. Well, that settles that. I must get word of this to Washington at once. Yeah, I got to get word to the local marshal. This is the spot. Body dragged this way, Kimasabe. Then tried to rub out trail with branch. Come on. Look, Kimasabe, blood. Yes, we're on the right trail. Well, them have horses, Kimasabe. Tied them here. They must have brought the body this far by horseback, then dragged it to the point where we found it. And we get Silver and Scout and follow trail? Yes. Come on. Horses come from there. Looks like an old prospector's cabin. Road used plenty. Horses come and go many times. Now we'd better be careful. No telling what we're liable to run into. No one seems to be in. Come on. This does not look like a deserted cabin. It certainly doesn't. Someone lives here, all right. That cupboard is full. We smell perfume. It's that cologne, Tano. The kind the dead man had on his clothes. This must have been someone's hideout. Look, Kimasabi, much blood. Him killed here, for sure. That's right. Why should the body have been carried out and placed beside the trail? We not know. And if gang killed Dumont, why did him not bury him? It almost seems as though they wanted the body found. I wonder why. I wonder too. Something strange about this. We look around, maybe find more clues. Good idea. Tano, look here. What this? Much money, Kimasabe. Counterfeit money. Plates and ink to make more. And look good. It may look good, Tano. But counterfeit money can do as much damage as the most vicious outlaw gang. We tell Sheriff what we find? I know that government agent is the man to report this to. We'll take one of the bills with us, then leave everything else just as we found it. The gang is bound to return here to get this money and those plates. If things are handled right, there's a good chance to trap them all. Well, gentlemen, how did it go? Perfect, Chief. We passed a half a dozen of the bills. Didn't have any trouble at all. Excellent. How did you make out with the sheriff? Well, that dumb fool, I've got him right in the palm of my hand. What about Colin's body? I'm happy to announce that Pierre Dumont is now officially dead. Someone found the body, huh? Yes, and I provided the final identification. Ah, that's pretty good. You being able to clinch it. Yes, I kind of like that touch myself. <laughs> what do we do now, Chief? Just keep on the way we were going? Exactly. We couldn't be in a more perfect position. Yeah. If anything goes wrong, you'll be the first one to hear of it. It's now also be in an ideal spot to deal with this problem. <laughs> I guess we're sitting pretty. We are indeed. 
Who's that? I don't know. You two hide in the closet. Keep your ears open. Oh, the masked man. Come in. We'd like to see you, Collins. Oh, if you'll gentlemen excuse me, I was just finishing shaving. Right ahead. I suppose you gentlemen have come by to find out about the body you found. Not exactly. Of course, we'd like to know if it was Dumont. No, it was, definitely. I wonder who killed him and why. Well, what difference does that make? Oh, Dumont's career has ended. There's still the rest of the gang. We found their hideout today. Oh, you did? Well, how very interesting. Tell me more. In a cabin about two miles from where we found the body. Murder done in cabin. That's right. The body was carried to the place we found it. Whoever killed him apparently wanted the body to be found. You quite sure about all this? We follow signs, and very plain. We also found a suitcase full of money, like this. Plates and ink to prove it's counterfeit. Well, that looks very genuine. It's an expert job. There's no doubt about that. Dumont was very clever. Yes, my dear fellow. The man was a genius. I shall look this over carefully. The rest of the gang is bound to come back to that cabin. If you move fast, there's a good chance to round them all up. Yes, of course. An excellent idea. Allow me. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. If this Dumont gang is destroyed, your government will owe you a great vote of thanks. Yes, gentlemen, I'm more than ever in your debt. And I shall have to find some way to repay you. The only payment we want is to see the Dumont gang put out of business. Since you're so interested in the case, I only think it's fair that you should be in on the kill. We'll be glad to help you in any way we can. Good. I think we should proceed to the cabin and try to trap the gang there. We'll be ready at any time. I have a report to finish. So if you don't mind, I'll meet you downstairs in 20 minutes. We'll be waiting outside in the alley. I don't think it's necessary to include the sheriff in this. I think the three of us can handle this together. Whatever you say. Oh, well, did you hear? Yeah. Who is that guy? Some self-appointed agent of justice. He sure has messed things up for us. Not yet, my friend. I have ways of taking care of this. You want us to trail him, Chief? No. You go to the cabin. Get there as fast as you can. I'll arrive later with the masked man and his Indian friend. And then... I get it. We'll be the welcoming committee. Exactly. And I'll explain later to the sheriff that we merely ran into a trap. But Sounds all right. Get going. I can hardly believe what you just told me. That this man who calls himself Collins is really Dumont. Perfume on coat give us answer. I'm certain it's the same. What do you think, Toto? It's the same perfume. I knew it. But this coat's got a bullet hole in it. Don't that mean anything? It means that Dumont is very clever. He doesn't forget little things. Him forget perfume. That's the one place he slipped up. But it's still not clear to me. It's very simple, Sheriff. Collins must have found Dumont's hideout. Went there to arrest him. Something went wrong and Collins was killed. Then Dumont plant papers on body to throw law off track. That's right. He simply changed places with the dead man. Then the dead man is Collins himself? It has to be that way. It's the only explanation that fits all the facts. Well, there's one way to find out if you're right. I'll wire Washington for a full description of the man named Collins. That'll take time. You can't expect me to arrest a man just because he uses a certain brand of perfume. Of course not, Sheriff. We must have proof. Perhaps we can make Dumont provide it. What's on your mind, mister? You send that wire to Washington. Tyler and I have already arranged to ride up to the hideout with Dumont. We try to bring outlaws back. Then if description you get checks, we save you much time and trouble. Yeah, but what if it don't check? If it doesn't, Tano and I will take the full blame. That'll leave you in the clear. Well, that's fair enough, but you're running a big risk, mister. If that man is Dumont, he's most likely planning a trap for the two of you. That's right. But perhaps we can turn the trap to our own advantage. How much farther is this place? Just a short distance. We'll leave our horses here.
I'll lead the way. Tonna, you go first. Let me come last. Make sure nobody follow. You ought to be coming along pretty quick now. Yeah, any time. Remember, I'll take the engine, you take the man with the mask. I got it. Let him get right in front of the cabin. We don't want to miss. And don't worry. I ain't gonna miss. There it is. Well, it certainly doesn't look like a criminal's hideout to me. That's why Dumont chose it. Well, what are we waiting for? The place looks empty. It may look empty, but I don't think it is. I think it's a trap, Dumont. Dumont? What do you mean? The game's up, Dumont. We know who you are, and we're going to prove it. Take off your coat. Now, put on this mask. Why, this is outrageous. Do you realize that I'm an agent of the federal government? I realize you're a very clever and dangerous criminal. Just what do you expect to gain by this ridiculous performance? It's very simple, Dumont. I believe you have men planted in that cabin to shoot me the moment I step into the clearing. But I'm not going to step into the clearing. You are. Your shirt and hat look a good deal like mine. This mask will do the rest. But it's absurd. You're just making a fool of yourself, and you pay for it. If I've made a mistake, you have nothing to fear. I'll put it on. Tonto, wait a few minutes. Then you know what to do. I wonder what's keeping them. It'll be a long quit worrying. Hey, I thought I saw something moving at the edge of the clearing. Why you worry so if you not Dumont? Uh. There they are, just coming out. I can't get a shot at the Indian. Never mind. The masked man first. You keep moving. Uh, Al! Don't shoot! It's me, Dumont! That's all I wanted to hear. Drop your guns, both of you. You! Drop it! Not me, mister. You all right, Kimasami? Couldn't be better, Tano. Bring in Dumont and we'll tie them all up. You had it figured exactly right, mister. This description of Collins confirms the whole story. And you have all you need to hold, Dumont. Yes, for murder as well as for counterfeiting, thanks to you and Tonto. Well, we'll leave them in your hands. Come on, Tonto. Adios. Goodbye. <laughs> well, Mr. Dumont, I hope you're getting used to a cell. You are going to see a lot of them. <laughs> I can understand it. How did that masked man know that I was Dumont? It was that perfume that gave you away. The cologne. That's right, <laughs> when you were shaving. You and your fancy tastes. Well, it took a clever man to catch me, whoever he is. Yes, <laughs> he's a lone ranger. Hi, old Silver, hi! Be with a lone ranger and Tonto, same time next week, for new dangers in another thrill-packed adventure. The Lone Ranger rides again.
Ranger. <laughs> 